And it begins, ladies and gentlemen. This is only a plus six, so it shouldn't be too bad. I don't know if they actually picked up a Night Fae person or not. It looks like we did. Helps us get through it a little bit faster. Not that much faster, though, if I'm honest, but it's all right. We get some extra buffs, though, which is probably more important part. Flopper time! Let's do it! So, I've had mixed uh, communications on what I should be hitting first. I think in these ones, without it being uh, fortified, that you kill these guys first because they help heal the group while you blast the other guys and keep them locked down so they're not casting their big casty spells that hurt. And, well, at this time, I guess the group just killed them too. So, that's a good sign. That means we got some pretty good DPS in this. I'm just running it as a pug because I like the challenge and the surprise. I'll do some guild runs too, a little bit later probably. We figured what the heck, let's have some fun, right? Let's see what we got. Hopefully I don't trip over myself and die, but you know. Little bit of damage. Avoid fire. Actually, I think that's just our mage anyway, but you know. Always want to be safe. Don't want to get hit by the fire. Burn. Ah! Do it. Uh oh, he's going to stun me. Oh, but we broke him first. Excellent. This is actually going like super well. To Love these groups. Okay. If I make noises, I hit harder, I believe. It's true, right? Beware. Probably not. But that's alright. We can make a do. Let's see what we got. So far, this stuff's pretty easy. Just move them out of those things that come out of the ground. So you don't get snared. And I think they do some additional damage or something. I'm not exactly sure. You just want to move them if you can. Probably should have saved this actually because this stuff's dying fast enough. And I want to make sure I have it on the boss. I probably won't now, so that's a mistake, but that's all right. I don't know. We still got the other pole after we get the tasty treats from our Night Fae friend. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Guess I could move slow and just kind of get it too. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I still got about a minute. I don't think it's going to take that long to kill these two dudes, so. It's really funny because depending on the group you get in here with, like, normally my timing is fine and my cooldowns are up again right as we pull the boss. Eh, we're getting close enough, probably. Sometimes I'll toss a little heal on myself just to help out. Plus, it gives me a little shield, too, with one of the conduit things I have, so. It's not a big shield, but it's a shield nonetheless. What do we got? 20 seconds still. Oof, that's rough. Oh, well.
10, 9. Actually, maybe for once it's going to work out to my benefit because I normally blow this before the big damage part. Pretty clean so far, actually. Just don't stand and stuff, and you should be good. Tank's actually doing a good job of moving them out, too. Feared. There we go, the good transition. There we go. Little interrupt, keep it going. Smash on this guy down. Just like that, he's gonna die here any second now. Hopefully, oh I might get to that sticky part. Whew, almost got blinded, but I didn't, thankfully. Trick over the pally. Finish the fight. So this is where you get... You can... Just keep hitting this guy to windle him down, or you can kill the tree. see if they're doing the mechanics the last group I was in didn't so of course I'm not this time but hey look at that I like this tank he's all about the timing notice how he pulled the boss towards the portal so as soon as he died he could start running it only saves a couple of seconds but a couple of seconds uh, is sometimes all it takes to get two to three chests so uh, you know what I mean Clean, clean run so far. Hopefully it stays that way. Yeah, these people are not messing around. They're doing a really good job. is what we want to see. Just keep it going here and see what we get. Hopefully at the end I will get a tanky weapon finally. Even though I main rep for raids and stuff, I do like to do a lot of the tanking in dungeons. And I've been actually farming this uh, dungeon just because it drops a uh, one-handed weapon and really it's I, it's one of the more fun ones for me I like it a lot um, but I've been trying to get a tanky weapon because right now I have a 138 green and then the rest of me is like I don't know but my eye level even with that green is like 186 or 188 or something but I realize 
the difference in the eye level is a good boost to stamina, which as a tank, especially with Tyrannical, that can make a big difference. So I decided to just uh, come and farm this stuff and plus, you know, doing it right style, having fun with it. Let me learn uh, the dungeon mechanics a little bit more too, so that's good. Yeah, and then most of this trash is actually quite easy. I mean, it's basically the old, you know, don't stand and stuff, interrupt uh, if, if it is possible. Hardest trash in this dungeon is actually at the beginning. We've already cleared it all. It was one guy's channel, some spell, something essence. And you just want to make sure you interrupt that. But it's a beautiful dungeon, really well done. Actually, like the dun all the dungeons in Shadowlands, really. So these are just a bunch of like moths and stuff. You get those little circles around you that I just had there for a second. If they go off, they actually will do a lot of damage and throw you backwards. But we're just taking the trash out so I don't have to worry about it as much. That's a pretty nice. See. I get one to go off. See, threw me off. Took about half my health there. This is only a plus six and it's not fortified. So I'm like, fortified? You would definitely want to not get hit by that stuff if you can help it. So it hurts. Or even the higher dungeons, like I said. This one's not too bad, but it's. It's a good little challenge, nice little run through. I mean, everything that would drop would be an upgrade, so. That's good, right? I think so. Dodgeball! Aw, oh, man. It just spawned right on top of me and turned me into a nice block. This boss has a fox that will chase you down. Um, you just gotta slow it or keep it CC'd. And it's not too bad, but when it spawns right on top of you, there's not a lot you can do, unfortunately. Alright, so these gotta be the ones that aren't matching. It looks like it's this one. Just like getting through the maze. Gotta watch those little dodgeballs, little arrows on the ground. Pretty easy. Although I did die to it somehow earlier. It was because I stopped because the team I was with, uh, again, was a pug, but they weren't killing the right fairy guy. And so I stopped to try to figure out which one it was and wasn't paying attention to the dodgeball. Got killed. Always good. All right, flower, flower, leaf, leaf. Which one? I guess. Nope, flower. I don't know. I guess I'm following their lead on this one. I still struggle with the. It's supposed to be the one that's the most different. They got it. I can't honestly tell you how that was the most different. It's the one area in this dungeon I still, like I can figure it out sometimes, but that one, it looked like it could have been two different answers. So there's clearly still something I'm not quite getting on that. So hopefully somebody can explain it for you a little better. It has to do with the uh, shape, which would be the flower or the leaf. And then, 
Aye, okay. I got ice blocked again, but this one here marked with a... Okay, so that one it was pretty clear because that's the only one that's very different. So pretty easy to figure that out. Nope. <laughs> Just smashed it once and it died. What do you do? That was good. So we're moving on to the last boss already. There's still enough trash in here. We should be able to get to 100% of our percentage without having to go too much out of our way. So that's also a plus. Um, it just depends on your group and if they had extra pulls or not. But I think 68% is the minimum you want coming into this part without having to pull extra. But we'll see. And by pull extra, I mean there's always like one spare group you pull. Uh, but I've been in here where we had to like backtrack and you never want to backtrack. Uh, a couple of times I've been in here, you kill extra trash after the boss. I recommend doing that instead of backtracking and wasting a bunch of time. Because if you kill the boss, there's a group pretty close to him on the other side if you miss it here. Uh, and I'll explain it as we move a little more forward. But, yeah, I mean, it's pretty straightforward here. You can go left or right. Most people have been going left. I was going right, but I think you get a little more percentage going straight through here. So I do recommend that now. It's not too shabby. You just blow up all the trash mobs just like that. Interrupt a little healing. This has bolstering, but it's not too bad. And they're pulling the extra. Flying guys. Not bad, not bad, right? Gotta watch here though, they can throw you off the cliff. That's like the most common way people die on this part. It's not even these. It's literally uh, being thrown off the sides, so. Hopefully I don't show you, but I've certainly done it a few times. Interrupted. Like that. Avoid those big explosions because they will toss you backwards. And throw you off the ledge, like I was saying. It's no good. Happened to me earlier, actually, but I wasn't particularly excited about that part. A little annoying, actually. Especially when you're rarely dying here, and then just plop. Dead. From full health, even. Doesn't matter. I don't really want to kill everything about the same pace on bolstering, but... We're cleaning house here pretty good, actually. And I think they did a good job here. We got probably enough. If not, maybe at worst we'll be 2% uh, off. Got to move out of the group of this so you don't hit other people. But you can still attack as long as you're not roping people in to take extra damage. Yep, get out of that. Keep switching targets. The bolstering, trying to knock them dead at the same pace, and boom, just like that. Perfect, 100%. That's what we're talking about. Without any extra pulls, and then we got the last boss here, and hopefully we're gonna light him up and just absolutely obliterate him. But we'll see, because they're not. Casting hero. That's alright, I guess. Here you get mind meld. You just want to sprint away to break that. And then you just keep hitting the boss. Watch out for the trash. Don't stand too far into the boss. 
I'm a little too far, actually. Interrupt that consumption. Watch for the little ads, they'll come out. I think the team killed them already, but. All right there. Again, you just want to avoid all the stuff on the ground while you keep beating the boss down. He's got his little extra ads here, and of course they're after me. There we go, they're dead. Back to the boss. Somebody interrupt the other stuff. Yeah, mind link with everybody. There we go, run away. Let's see, tanks got them all, but not. broke it. Okay. Keep killing the boss. I'm gonna go ahead and just heal myself for a second there. Beautiful, nice job. I think it's a two, yeah, plus two. Not too shabby, could have probably done a three if we were pulling a little more aggressively, but hey, I'll take it. Uh. And just like that, plus six, plus two chest. Pretty clean, pretty simple. Like I said, we probably could have done a three chest with just a little more aggressive pulling. Didn't really feel like we were having much of a challenge, so honestly, we probably could have done that. But again, good fun run. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the subscribe button and follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv backslash Kelsent. Hope to see you there when I'm streaming live. I definitely stream every Sunday night and Monday night. 8 Eastern, uh, doing the raiding with Castle Nathria right now. And uh, in the future will be other raids. Hopefully we'll see you around. Thank you.